Guys, look what I just found. A long-awaited trophy is here. No, it might not be the great one. But it's a freaking albino, dude. And I've never got an albino. Bro, that's crazy. An albino philo. I've never found one of these. But here we are. Let's get you down. Let's get you down as well. Sweet. First albino, baby. And it is a true rack one. Not too shabby. Let's get him. And here he is. Woo hoo hoo! Looking good there, aren't you, buddy? Wow. Looks like you've been watching a little bit too much TV there, but it's all good though. Wow, look how beautiful he looks. Look how beautiful. Albino. Just a silver, I don't care. I don't care with tax mining that. First albino fellow ever, dude. That's crazy. And how long did it take? Around 2,700 kills? Took long enough. <laughs> Took freaking long enough, but here we are. We got him finally. Holy moly. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yo, what's up, people? Another clip here from the Sonaldo guy himself. We got a guaranteed diamond level 4 here. Now, I'm not sure how rare they are. But I thought just in case, we will record this because... That is not too common. At least I have never seen one. So we will get that guy down. A guaranteed level 4? Not too usual to see those around. So let's pick him up. Alright, here he is. And you can definitely see that the rack is like a lot bigger than the other level 4s. This could even be a level 5. Let's see what he scores. Okay, right at the bottom of that snake. Gotcha. That is still cool though. A guaranteed level 4. Alright guys, so we are back on the Fallow Grind here today, and well, we spawned something interesting. We didn't spawn another albino, we didn't spawn another piebald, but we spawned a melanistic. The first melanistic of the grind. It's just a three, it's not the best estimate, but it's a melanistic. That's all I care about. This guy is the 11th rare of the grind. Literally, two rares after the albino. Not too shabby indeed. And what better day, but what better way, sorry, to take him out than with a beer claw bow? I think it's called beer claw. Let me see. Beer claw bow. That's right. Beer claw bow light. So let's see if we can crawl up on this guy and get a bow shot. Because it would be amazing to get him down with a bow. Especially since we need to get the great one once we spawn him with a bow. So this is practice. Which is really good for us. We need to practice for this great one. So without further ado, let's try to get her down with a bow and practice for the great one, ladies and gentlemen. Another melanistic. This is crazy. This is crazy. And you can clearly see that that coat is fully black. Or his fur, sorry, I should say. There's no mistaking. That is not a chocolate. That is a melanistic. You can you can see that. That is crazy. Another Melanistic. The third ever Melanistic Fallow I have spawned. We could literally do a multi-mount filled with only Melanistic Fallow. How crazy isn't that? Alright, so I actually brought the collar with me. So let's see if uh, we can attract them. And maybe we will mate and get over here. I'm not sure if that is possible since they are already drinking and are having fun. But by the looks of it, they are already moving. And yeah, they are. They're moving already. Okay, so we actually need to move up here. Get some good coverage while they move towards us. We won't have too much time here now. Just realize. But we will make it work. Come, baby, come. Okay, they're slowly coming. The Melnistic, of course, is the slowest one of them all. So we'll see how this works. I'm thinking, I'm thinking one of these bushes should work. But I mean... We'll find out eventually or shortly. But that Melanistic, hopefully, will come in pretty soon. Please don't take too long. Can't wait an hour. Okay, uh, he is moving very slowly. I don't know why that is. I crawled out a little bit from the bush just to get a look at him. 
and he's still there, dude. I don't, I'm, I don't know what he's doing. Why is he not coming? That is... I, I, I don't know why he's not coming. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I think he will not move. So I think probably... One of the better things we could do here is to... Literally crawl up on him. Uh, like this. We're not making any sound. We are pretty visible, however. So we'll see how this goes. But if we're lucky, we can get him... Uh, 60 meters out at least because then we will be able to take a shot Because the zero wing will do everything for us. So it should go good if we shoot 60 out. So let's see how it goes Okay, so for some reason he is now moving away I'm not sure what this guy is doing bro. And honestly, I don't like it. What are you doing? I've been calling for Many minutes now and you haven't even tried to step closer to me and the females neither. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see if we can still do this though. I don't know what these guys are doing. These guys are playing tricks on me, dude, and I do not like it. Just get closer to me so I can get a shot, and we're good. You understand me? Hopefully. Oh boy. Okay, okay, he's coming in. He's coming in hot now. Harder than expected. 40 meters, we could do 40. Stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Yes! Let's go, baby! That is a good shot! I think that's a hard shot, you guys. Could have been just long shots, but we dropped them. Where's the blood? Why wasn't there no blood? Okay, that's weird. No blood, I guess. But we did not screw him up. Look at that shot. Heart lung. Could have gone better. Uh, could have gone a lot better, but we got him in the end. Melanistic. Look at that. That is, uh... That is not too bad. If I may say so myself. Alright, we got him down with a bow. Heart shot. From 40 meters out. Actually, 34 meters out. I aimed a little bit low uh, to make up for the zeroing. And yeah, we just hit the heart there, barely. Almost over it. But we got him, and that is the most important thing. And I am now a little bit more confident to take down the Great One once we spawn him with a bow. <sighs> Alright, let's check this guy out in the lodge. I want to see how he looks. Alright, guys, so we are back here. In the trophy lodge that is still not yet complete. We are trying to put our best trophies here in the trophy lodge. Sonaldo's ultimate lodge. Click the like button if you want to see it being complete. Either way. Here, ladies and gentlemen. Is one of my more proud multi-mounts of the trophy lodge. Look at that. Triple. Freaking triple. Melanistic. Fallow deer. Multimont. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna get you through them real quick. 181. So that is this guy right here. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it must be. Yeah. That is that guy. That is the guy we shot today. Now that 185 is the one right here. I'm pretty sure. That is my biggest one. Now, notice 187 is actually diamond in today's age. However, 185 was gold back then therefore he is still a gold which I think is pretty cool I think that is very slick of them and very nice for them doing that you know so that it wouldn't make a silver now That would just be really annoying So I'm, I'm thankful that they have made so that one is gold even though it is lower than the today's age golden requirements either way here is also the second melanistic I ever got a little one off of multiplayer and I screwed him up because I took a running shot. He's just a bronze. He would have been a silver. It's all good though. He's a Mela and that is what counts. That is a pretty cool trophy. However, you guys, I want to ask you something. Do you think this trophy is cooler or this? Uh, personally, I think this one looks as cool. Maybe a little bit cooler just because it has all the different rares. And that piebald, I mean... That is probably one of my proudest uh, 
proudest Fallow Deer trophy so far. 225 before True Rex. Fallow Deer. Not too shabby indeed. He looks very big. And I like him in that pose. So once you enter the lodge, you go here. You look at that great one now, looking good. You see that albino? That albino looks so good. Like, it's crazy, the new albino. The new albino just looks amazing. Then you got the Mela right there, checking you out as well. But then on the other side, you got the piebald. So for you guys, I want you to decide which one you like the most. Personally, I think the Mela is more of a flex one, whereas this one is more arty. So do you like flex or do you like art? That is basically my question. But yeah, pretty crazy video, right? So without further ado, guys, thank you for everything today. I'll see you next time. Peace.